Good evening, God bless you, and welcome to Cornerstone Church for this very special concert. Tonight is a night of faith, family, and friends, and yes, it's a release of a brand new album that I've recently recorded with my children and some very special guests, but not only is this an opportunity for you to hear good music, this is an opportunity for you to make history. And what I mean by that is this concert's gonna last for about an hour, but your face is gonna be on one of these cameras forever. And while people may forget the songs that they hear or the lines in the lyrics, they will never forget what you look like when that camera gets really tight and you're not smiling. Or everybody's clapping on two and four and you're that one person on one and a half and five. So I wanna give you the opportunity to practice your happy, clapping, smiling face for about five seconds. I want to see just how well you can do. Tonight is going to be a great night of music. Let me hear how excited you are to hear this great music. That's fairly decent. Tonight, Marty Raybon is here to sing with us. Ben Isaacs is here to sing with us. Zach Smith is playing guitar. And probably the best news of the evening, my children, Hannah, JW, and Joel, are here to sing. Would you make them welcome for faith, family, and friends?
So how many of y'all have ever been to a country concert before? It's all right. I know some of y'all been down at the rodeo and it wasn't your intent, but you just got pulled in. How many of y'all ever been to a gospel concert? Amen. Amen. How many of y'all have been to a country gospel concert? Well, see, you can take that off your bucket list tonight because country and gospel have been holding hands with each other for a long time. And it's been a part of my life since I was a child. You know, pastor, he used to have a red Chevy Cheyenne pickup truck. And it was the greatest thing in the world because wherever he drove it, people got out of his way. And they got out of his way because if you saw that truck, you would believe that we didn't have insurance and you didn't want him to hit you. And in that truck, they had an eight track player. How many of y'all remember eight tracks? Well, dad had two eight tracks. One was Elvis Presley and it was his gospel album. You know, the one with How Great Thou Art and, you know, the battle hymn of the Republic. Y'all remember the big His Truth is Marching On at the end? And then the other was a Ray Charles album called Modern Sounds in Country and Western. And so I grew up as a child getting to listen to great gospel music and great country music. And for a little while, I thought that all of them were in the same hymn book until I went to Sunday school one day and found out that Amazing Grace and Georgia didn't really go good together. But I used to sing it like this. Amazing Grace. See, that's gospel. How sweet. You know that one sing? The sound that saved a wretch like Georgia. Georgia, just a song of you. Y'all don't know that one? Come sweet and clear, like moonlight through the precious memories. Sorry, back to the gospel now, right? How they linger. How they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth. I'm telling you, they go great together. It's like ham and cheese, peanut butter and jelly, cookies and cream. So tonight, if you hear something that sounds country, and you're like, I think I've heard that before, but it's got a gospel lyric to it. If you feel like Brooks and Dunn and Bill Gaither had a musical child, that's what this record sounds like. Take a listen. We'll show you what we mean.
Jesus' blood can make you free. For He saved the worst among you. When He saved a wretch like me. And I didn't have any Spanish eight tracks. The Spanish came from mom. We had to do a little bit of mariachi in there. One of the songs that we put on this record was a song that my daughter has sung for many, many years. We do weird things like sing at my house. And uh, it's an old Don Williams tune, but I thought it fit perfect with this concept of faith, family, and friends because it's somewhat of the prayer of a heart. 
asking God for a good day. We brought in some very wonderful talent throughout this whole project. And one of the individuals that came and worked with us as a producer and arranger uh, is a person that's no stranger to Cornerstone Church. He and his family have actually sung here many, many times. But we asked him to come and be a part of this special event. And he's actually singing uh, with us tonight on a few of these songs. Would you put your hands together and make welcome Mr. Ben Isaacs? Now, here's something about Ben that he won't tell you, but I will. Ben is a part of the gospel singing group, the Isaacs, and recently they were one of the very few gospel groups who has ever been inducted into the Grand Old Opry. So he is an official Opry member. And we're proud of him and his family and their achievements. Most of the time he's singing with legends. Tonight he's just singing with us. But this song is entitled, Lord, I Hope This Day Is Good. Sing it, girl. Sister Hannah and Brother Ben. (laughs) 
This song is all about when we get to heaven and what we're going to look forward to seeing when we get there. this song, it was something that I knew immediately Hannah was supposed to sing it. And the reason that I knew it was a song that had special meaning in her life is because for generations, my family has been in church. Pastor, raised in church. His family, raised in church. As a matter of fact, we've probably spent more hours of our life in this building than we have any other place on earth. And this song particularly speaks about the building where you felt the presence of the Lord. You know, this past year, Pastor Hagee has celebrated 65 years in full-time gospel ministry. And here in this city, 
has built four churches. How many of you have been to more than just this one? I'm here to tell you that the building is a wonderful thing when God's presence fills it and you get to see and experience his glory. This song is dedicated to the faithful men and women who have made this church what it is. It's called The Building. preaching the good news in these tattered old red hymn books I've caught a tear or two cause it's hard to sing just as I am without the spirit moving you if those altars at the front could testify I know they'd say it never once got old here sinner called his name. No, the stained glass never saved a soul in these pews ain't on the road that's called up yonder. I know the pulpit's just a wooden stand, but it's felt the power of God's hand as his glory filled the place with all Nobody ever called it cool, but it's where my mama met my daddy at vacation Bible school. It's been the picture perfect dream of a thousand glowing brides. It's heard the weeping as the loved ones lay to rest with sad goodbyes. And I know saved a soul in these pews ain't on the road that's called up yonder I know the pulpit's just a wooden stand but it's felt the power of God's hand as his glory filled the place with awe and wonder I know it's just a building it's plain and simple why To call that church my home I know the stained glass never saved a soul And these views ain't on the road that's called up yonder I know the pulpit's just a wooden stand But it's felt the power of God's hand As His glory filled this place changed my life it's the building where Jesus changed 
Are you thankful for a building where Jesus changes lives? I made mention of this marvelous band just a few moments ago, but I want to take a little time to introduce them to you a little better. Uh, playing over here on the drums is our good friend Josh. Would y'all make Josh welcome here this evening? Obviously, as I mentioned this morning, Sean Bird is our musical director here at Cornerstone Church. I want y'all to take note, Sean's wearing boots tonight. I mean, when you're in country gospel, you gotta go all in, and uh, Sean's doing a great job for us. Sitting next to Sean playing the uh, keyboard tonight is Brent Rader. Would you please make Brent welcome here? He was raised in a Southern Baptist church, so he's already been forgiven for everything that he's gonna do here on this platform tonight. Zach Smith, always a pleasure to have Zach playing with us. Next to Zach is a wonderful talent. Mike Rogers is here tonight. Kevin Moore playing the fiddle. And one of the sweetest souls that you'll ever get to meet. He's a tremendous talent and plays absolutely my favorite instrument of all time. I've often said that if I ever got into like a healing revival, I would throw out every instrument and just bring the steel guitar. Because when you prayed for people and they fell down, you. Mikey, help me. It, it's like, you know, you feel, see, see how that works with people falling? Anyway, Mike Johnson over there playing the steel guitar. We took two old gospel songs and we've made a little bit of Texas swing out of it. How many of y'all are Texas swing fans? Bob Wills and the rest? Well, this one's called Rock, Sword, and Shield. Play it, fellas. He's my wheel in the middle of the wheel. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright morning song. Makes no difference what you say. I'm going on my knees and pray. I'm gonna stay right here till Jesus, till he comes. Happy till he comes. I'll be happy till he comes. My soul shall rest in him. Till he comes Cause my delight Is in his love It's not in man Or in this world I'll be happy till he comes Cause Jesus is mine I am forgiven I'm holding his hand And I'm going to heaven Cause I found a wonderful Savior Blesses me forever. I am His, and thank God He is mine. Happy till He comes. I'll be happy till He comes. And my soul shall rest in Him. I'll be happy till He comes. It's my delight is in His love. It's not in man or in this world. I'll I'm going on my knees and pray I'm gonna 
Jesus till he comes. Play it. I'm on a way right here for Jesus till he comes. <laughs> Absolutely. One more time for that band. It's a wonderful, wonderful. If you think they make it look easy, boys and girls, that's a hard song to play. This morning, we had the opportunity to hear a song that I have been singing for decades, but one of the first voices I ever heard sing it is one of the greatest voices that God has ever given to a country singer. And if you've ever listened to 90s country, Shenandoah, Marty Rabin is one of the absolute best of all time. I want to make him welcome here this evening. Would y'all put your hands together? <laughs> Marty, how long ago did you start watching Pastor Hagee? Oh, I tell you what, it was, it was several years ago. I, I, uh, in fact, to be honest with you, I, 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 was, I was saved in 91, gloriously saved out of a drunken stupor in my basement, March the 15th, 1991. But before then, my, my mother had told me to, that I needed to watch Pastor Hagee. And, uh, you know, only as mamas, when, when they feel like they can't do anymore, they, they'll reach out for anything in the world that can help. And uh, so I started watching that rascal, and I, I'm telling you, I... Man, I was under so much conviction. Uh, and then, uh, glory to God, on March the 15th, 1991, I fell down on my knees and I met the invisible God that I'd heard about all my life. And I, I literally have never been the same since. And I'll say this from, from that point on, uh, I've actually been a part of the Hagee family. I really have. I've been to Israel three times. I've, I've been on cruises. I've been to Canada. I've, I've spent the night at the house. I, and I have never, ever, ever, ever seen anything different about that family than what you see. Nothing. They're the real deal. And that was one of the things that was so attractive to me, uh, that was attractive to me was the realness and in, in who y'all were. And then when you invited me to come and, and to be a part of this record and and Ben says, man, we got you a track up. I said, well, better tell me what day you want me. <laughs> and away we went. So well, this one's called Beulah Land. <laughs> Someday on the 
So that thing's hiring a cat back. <laughs> You're good, though. That, that little thing at the end that we did right there, that just, I mean, it, did y'all feel that like I felt that? Okay, I'm just checking. Now, I want to tell y'all how much I know Pastor Hagee loves Marty Raybon. Pastor went to his very first country concert at the Blue Bonnet Palace. How many, oh, y'all got testimonies about that place, do you? Snagged. He used to preach about it. Y'all are out there at the Blue Bonnet Palace. Well, Marty Rabin and Shenandoah came to town and uh, Marty invited us as a family to go and, and the children convinced dad that we could go and stand backstage and watch the concert and nobody would know we were there. Man, I was proud to have you. And it worked great for about an hour and 20 minutes. And then we got to the end of the show and Marty was coming out to sing the grand finale. And he goes, I want to thank all y'all for coming out here tonight. And I want to thank my dear friend, Pastor John Hagee for standing right there and cheering us on all night long. <laughs> half the crowd fell under conviction and the other half just cheered and roared. But, uh, you know, y'all sang a song that night and, and, you know, when you're a preacher's kid, you have to come up with reasons that you can listen to certain songs. And, and I told my parents that this one was about uh, the day of Pentecost. Yeah, the Holy Ghost. Yeah, it's called Ghost in His House. Would you, would, would you sing that for us? Yeah, man. It's not really about Pentecost, but you'll like it. <laughs> Sounded good, though. Yeah. I don't pick up the mail And I don't pick up the phone And I don't answer the door I just assume be alone And I don't keep this place up I just keep the lights dead I'm just a shadow upon these walls It's quietly that my side haunt these halls I'm just a whisper of smoke I'm all that's left of two hearts on fire That once burned out of control I'm just a ghost in the cell And I don't mind if it rains I don't care if it's clean I don't mind staying near There's another ghost here she sits down in your chair And she shines with your light And she lays down her head On your pillow at night I'm just a ghost in this house I'm just a shell of the a ghost in the sky I'm just a ghost in this house I'm just a shadow upon these walls It's quietly that my side haunt 
these homes I'm just a whisper of smoke The ghost in this hell Oh, I'm just a ghost in this hell Now y'all probably never heard that had <laughs> Why don't we sing one they have heard? This one's called Get Up in Jesus' Name. All right, let's get it. Get it. Come on, kids. Let's sing with Marty. You know, if I'd have known y'all to stood up for that, we'd have started with that one. But... <laughs> this song is a song that helps us remember that we have a Savior that has the greatest name. It is the name that is above every name. I want y'all to make John William welcome as he comes to sing, His Name is Jesus. Of his name, 
walls crumble, lives are changed. In the midst of life's temptations, He's there to see us through. And this man of which I speak is here today for you and me. His name is Jesus, but you can call him as you please. And they call him. But there's a peace in knowing that His forgiveness stays the same. Most famous in His story, the things He spoke, the whole world still reads. His name is Jesus, but you can call Him as you please. His sister bet him that he couldn't do it, and he just won a bet, so <clears throat> it's always a good thing when you got a little sibling rivalry. One of the great joys that we have as believers is knowing where we're going to be for eternity. Paul told the church, he said, I don't want you to grieve as those who have no hope. He said, encourage one another. Remember that we're going to spend eternity with the Lord in the air. This song reminds us that God has created something that has not entered into the minds of men. And when you breathe your last breath, the hands of his holy angels are going to lead you into his presence forever. I hope you enjoy this song. It's called Lead Me Home.
big world of sorrow Cause my new life begins with death I am standing on a mountain And I can see for Ben Isaacs and his wonderful producing and arranging on this album. For our special guest, the only guy that y'all stood up and clapped for all night, Marty Raybon, if you'd appreciate. One more time for this fabulous band.
Now tonight we've just sung a portion of the music that's on this recent release, and you can download it wherever music is streamed, on your favorite uh, Spotify, your Apple Music, all of that stuff. Uh, Pastor Hagee even sings a song, His Eyes on the Sparrow, he joined us on this record. So whenever we talk about faith, family, and friends, we got the patriarch of the family on the record as well. This is a, you all right back there? Okay, just check. <laughs> He's talking about where he got his shirt. <laughs> they want it back whenever you're done with it. So, This song is a Dottie Rambo tune, and uh, it's a wonderful gospel song, but we put a little country on it, and we're going to sing this to you. It'll be the last song of the evening, so if you ever wanted to give a standing ovation, this would be your opportunity. I'm not asking for one. I'm just strongly suggesting it because that's a great way to end the show. This one's called Homesick. See you. 
Smith. What do y'all think about country and gospel now? We want to thank you for taking the time to join us. I also want to remind you there's great food and festivities happening out in our West Lawn as immediately following this service. God bless you and thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for being a part of our family, of our friends, and sharing our faith. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Hagee Ministries. 